Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody good this morning? Good, sir. Good. 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 Warm welcome to 128th day of our lifetime. I am club. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Is everybody ready for the rituals? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ready. Always. Every day. Very nice. <laughs> Tell you, let's get started. Hmm. First thing we must do is bring our mind completely to the present moment. Take a nice deep breath. And exhale fully. Take another deep breath. Exhale. And exhale. Another deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now just stay focused on the tip of your nose. I'm completely aware of your breath. There are thoughts coming in your mind. Do not try to stop the thoughts. Let them come and let them go. Exactly the way clouds coming in the sky, going away. Thoughts come, let them go. Your focus should only be on the tip of. Now move your awareness, what is happening inside your body, pay attention to your heart, feel the heartbeat. Pay attention to how your lungs are expanding when it takes air in and contracting when it throws air out. Pay attention to how the blood is flowing through the arteries and veins. The heart is continuously pumping. Notice where your feet are touching the ground. Notice the placement of your hands.
Notice how your skin is feeling, where the air is touching the skin. Now move your awareness to outside of you, what is happening around you. Listen to the birds chirping in the sky. Listen to the gentle humming of the appliances. And Kava Sunaidera, AC Kava Sunaidera. And as you become aware of all of this, you're now completely in the present. When you are in the present moment, you're neither in the past, neither in the future. You are completely in this moment. You और आप जो भी काम कर रहे हो उसके ऊपर पूरा ध्यान लगा के नाउ लेट अस जेंटली ओपन आवर आईज एंड लेट अस डू सम क्लेंजिंग वर्क सबकॉन्शियस माइंड को थोड़ा सा क्लीन करेंगे और एक लेयर निकालेंगे लेट अस टैप ऑन द करड़े चॉप फॉर 35 टाइम्स दिस व्हाट विल हैपन इज योर बॉडी विल बी कंप्लीटली रेडी फॉर द टैपिंग वर्क Removing any possibility of psychological reversal. Kabi kabi hamara mind tayar nahi hota hai positive cheezo ke. Jab yahan pe 35 times tap karte hai, to hamara mind puri tarah se ready ho jata hai. Positive work. Wonderful. Today, you will work on yourself, your relationship with yourself. And then in between sometime, I will say, work on your relationship with God. These are the two most important relationships for creating a happy, healthy. खुद के बारे में सोच कैसी होगी थोड़ी कम हो मैं अच्छा नहीं हूं वो ज्यादा अच्छे है ज्यादा अच्छा कर पा रहे मेरे से हो नहीं रहा है मैं कैपेबल नहीं मैं ऐसा हूं मैं वैसा सो हु इज द पर्सन यू स्पेंड मैक्सिमम टाइम विद योरसेल्फ इज इट इट सो अगर आपको खुद के बारे में कुछ ऐसी सोच है तो फिर हमारा वाइब्रेशन पैसर होगा वी हैव टू रिमूव ऑल दोस फीलिंग्स टुवर्ड because deep down you know who you are. You are a part of my problem problem to self my soul. Main na kahi bachpan mein kisi ne aapko bol diya ki aap acche nahi ho, aap aise ho. Nobody did it, but somewhere somebody compared you with somebody, told you some comments. I didn't handsome, I am not beautiful, or I don't look nice, people don't like me. My elder brother is smarter than me. Look, they are so rich, not so rich. Focus on your relationship with yourself.
Do you love yourself the way you are? Do you respect yourself? Do you have compassion towards yourself? Check if there are any feelings of guilt. If you have any feelings of guilt, resentment towards somebody else. Remember your relationships outside are a reflection of your relationship with yourself. Bahar ki dunya mein jo aapke rishte hai, wo aapke andar ki dunya, aapka rishta khud ke saath mein kaisa hai? Depend. While tapping on yourself, automatically some old files may open up. Because we bachpan ke bhi memories aayenge apne aap. Those ko tap kar ke resolve kar liye. Remembering that you have always tried to do your best. Send me up in Jokuch Pikia. Some may up Ulagata K. Best Pikia. I feel guilty. Learn from that. Go forward. Let us take two rounds with respect to our relationship with God. What is your relationship with God? Do you believe He exists? Do you 
believe that he is fair with everybody. फिर कहीं ना कहीं लगता मेरे साथ अनफेयर हुआ है उन्होंने मेरे साथ गलत किया What is the meaning of God that you hold in your mind? Do you see God as somebody who punishes? Or do you see God as somebody who is unconditional love? is your feeling towards god is it that of anger set irritation frustration or is it that of unconditional Knowing that the source energy is only converting that into reality, you are asking for. 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 वो उनका दोष हुआ कि हमारा दोष हुआ लेट्स टेक वन लास्ट राउंड God is only that energy which converts the seed into reality. In zameen mein seed dalne ka kaam kiska hai? Mara. Hum jo bhi beej boenge, wo sach mein badlenge. Agar aap beej boge ke I am really powerful, I am capable, I am a unique child of God, to fir wo usko sach mein. Lekin agar hum negative commands dein, main acha nahi hu. कोई मुझे प्यार नहीं कर मैं अनलकी तो गॉड उसको सेट में बदलेंगे वेयर इज गॉड इन द पिक्चर ओनली मेकिंग आवर विशेस कम ट्रू सो लेट्स टेक थ्री डी ब्रेथ्स Keep your eyes closed for a few moments. Now slowly open your eyes. Have some water.
Remember, spirituality is all about understanding yourself and understanding the creator, understanding how you are connected with the creator. Connection may, agar hamari soch may, belief systems may kuch garbad hai, to uske upar thoda kaam karna chahiye. Take some time during the day to evaluate this. And if there are any misunderstandings, you must try to clear them. Okay. Let's express our deepest gratitude to God. Also be grateful to your own self. You have always tried to do your best, right? Appreciate yourself. Say thank you to yourself. Thank you for whatever you've been able to do so.
one to go finished. Let's finish this and slowly close your eyes and just be deeply grateful to God for helping us understand who am I truly? Who is God? Who is my connection? How does this universe operate? How God has made us so powerful that we can create our own life. Understand this self is a blessing. Thankful to God. Thank you so much for giving me this knowledge, understanding, awareness of who I am. This is a quest. To try and understand ourselves. Self-realization is the ultimate goal of life. Who am I? So be deeply grateful to God. Thank you. Thank you. So before we move forward, just going to share a little lesson here. All of you have understood the theory of the mind. In this once again. Our mind is divided into two parts, right? Mind and the subconscious. Conscious mind is the thinking mind. It does doing all the thinking. Jo bhi hum soch rahe, wo har soch jo hai, it is a command to the subconscious. Correct? It's like a gardener. Conscious mind is like a gardener. Putting seeds constantly into the subconscious mind. Gardener ne yahan pe seed rakh dal diya. मैं तो अच्छा हूं मैं पावरफुल हूं मैं कैपेबल हूं अब जो सीड आपने जमीन में बोया उसी सीड को परमात्मा सच में बदल दिस गॉड गॉड इज दैट एनर्जी व्हिच इज कन्वर्टिंग द सीड इनटू सो व्हाटएवर सीड्स वी पुट इन इज व्हाट गॉड इज कन्वर्टिंग इनटू रियलिटी सो व्हेयर इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ गॉड कमिंग इन द पिक्चर गॉड नॉट डू दिस गॉड इज अनफेयर जो आप मांग रहे हो वही दे रहे हो so the most important thing is to be mindful what am i putting inside me what am i saying to myself what am i always thinking in my mind i remind me kaun se pictures hai because the seeds are basically put in five ways you are thinking your thoughts words you are speaking pictures you are holding in your mind what are the feelings you are holding what are the act ये पांच तरीके से हम सीड्स को सो करते हैं जो भी गलत एक्शन लेंगे तो गलत सीड डाल रहे तो गलत चीज आएगी जीवन में अच्छे एक्शन लेंगे तो अच्छी चीज आएगी अच्छे फीलिंग्स रखेंगे फीलिंग्स ऑफ ग्रेटिट्यूड या तो द मोर ग्रेटफुल यू आर फॉर व्हाट यू हैव द मोर थिंग्स कम इन टू योर लाइफ फॉर व्हिच यू आर ग्रेटफुल इफ यू आर कांस्टेंटली फीलिंग द फीलिंग्स ऑफ अर एंड फ्रस्ट्रेशन एंड इरिटेशन and resentment and guilt imagine what's going to come more more of that so this is the fundamental law and law of the universe ye ek hi picture mein sara spirituality samajh mein aa sakta hai if you really want to understand as you sow as you reap whatever you put in is what you are getting so every morning when we are doing our rituals what are we doing we are putting the right seeds every morning that's all we are doing when we are in a state of gratitude when we are forgiving jab forgive karte hai ya forgiveness mangte hai to hamare andar purana koi bhi kachra hai usko hum safai kar rahe hain jab hum tapping karte hai to purana jo seeds yahan pe already sown hai there so much of seeds already lying in the subconscious mind right from from all your past births sara yahan pe pada hua hai these seeds are giving you the results today and now if you don't like the results then the seeds need to be changed 
तो रोज सफाई करेंगे तो ये सारे पुराने सीड्स निकल रहे हैं बेसिकली वेन यू रिमूव दी सीड्स यू स्टार्ट क्रिएटिंग न्यू सीड्स मोर ब्यूटिफुल वेन यू डू टैपिंग वेन यू डू ग्रेटिट्यूड वेन यू डू फिवनेस डू मेडिटेशन दिस इज एसेंशियली टैपिंग इन टू द इंटेलिजेंस साफ रखना ये भी तो जरूरी है <laughs> So, just trying to understand why we keep doing the same thing again and again. Because unless we don't do that, we will not be able to keep our minds clean. Okay, so let's let's seek forgiveness from God. We have hurt anybody, knowingly or unknowingly. Let's we'll seek forgiveness. Connect with God and say, "Dear God." If I have hurt anybody, knowingly, unknowingly, directly, indirectly, in this life or any of my previous lives, अगर मैंने किसी को भी hurt किया है, मेरे शब्दों के द्वारा, मेरे विचारों के द्वारा, मेरे actions के द्वारा, या फिर मेरे feelings के द्वारा, अगर मैंने किसी को hurt किया है, my emotions. तो प्लीज मुझे सीख फॉरगिवनेस फ्रॉम द बॉटम दिल आपसे क्षमा चाहता हूं प्लीज माफ करिए और मुझे उन कर्मों से मुक्ति दिलाई वेन यू आर सीकिंग फॉरगिवनेस डोंट नीड टू गेट इन टू अ नेगेटिव स्टेट और एनीथिंग यू आर वेरी जेन्युनली फ्रॉम द हार्ट यू जस्ट सीकिंग फॉरगिवनेस ये गॉड प्लीज फॉरगिव मी I will learn my lesson out of that, and I will make sure that that doesn't happen again. If I have hurt someone, and I have not understood what I have done, I will not do that again. So it's not like keep doing wrong things and keep seeking forgiveness every day. Okay, so keep doing wrong things and keep seeking forgiveness every day. That's not the thing. That's not the lesson here. Okay, that you do something wrong every day, and you do something wrong every day, and you do something wrong every day, and you do something wrong every day. If I have hurt anybody, then I need to learn my lessons out of it. If I don't learn my lessons, then I'll keep repeating the same mistakes. Okay? And you only seeking forgiveness. That please forgive me. Jane and Jane, me, I'm hurt. It hurt people knowingly, unknowingly. We need to seek forgiveness. Release all those emotions, and then learn. Next time, I should not do. let us connect deeply with god just by meditating for a few minutes so pay attention to your breath and feel the presence of the source energy in everything inside you around you and feel the interconnectedness there's a whole universe inside you there's a whole universe outside you all of this is connected to that one energy it binds the entire universe together it twines everything in this universe.
transport yourself to one of that most beautiful places on planet earth apne aap ko us bahut hi khoobsurat jagah pe le chaliye and visualize that your own god is there right there in front of you feel the presence of the almighty in everything around you as you look at the creations of god as you even closely look at a flower or a leaf you can see how intelligent the universe is har patte mein wo aapko intelligence dikhega can see the texture the color the way in which the leaf is structured this cannot be done by human beings this is only the work of nature divine forces when you meditate you come in connection with that universal intelligence and imagine if this intelligence can create the entire universe where is the question of not being able to create your goals only key is do you believe it your faith which makes it happen so now that you're deeply connected with this intelligence you can visualize in your mind the life that you wish to create that in your family and the world at large so visualize your health first health is number 1 always visualize that you're completely fit and fine your body has unlimited energy as much work as you want looking exactly the way you want it to look mehsoos kare ki wo cheez already such ho the body has become flexible full of energy the face is radiant and vibrant and powerful every cell in your body is vibrating with energy and health day by day your health is only getting better and better. all the organs are functioning in complete all the systems in your body are operating in complete coordination one another then feel that the intelligence is working within you body fit and healthy we can be very grateful to god that thank you dear god thank you for this amazing health thank you thank you.
health is allowing you not only to live a good life for yourself, but it is also allowing you to serve others better. Jitni jada aapki health achhi hogi, utna jada aap apne family ko serve kar paoge, community ko serve kar paoge, aur dunia ko serve kar paoge. Take a moment to visualize your relationships. Imagine that all your family members and you are sitting on the dining table to have a meal together. Sabke chahre dekho. Sab apne aap se they're all very happy. You can see the smile on their face. You can see the bonding between the family members. And see the unconditional love amongst all the members. Conditional love to both is here. To mera kaam kar de to love. Mera kaam nahi karega to no love. Unconditional love is the key. Loving people for who they are. Understanding that they too are the divine expression of God. That if people have come into your life, they are there for teaching you a lesson. What is the lesson that I need to learn from each one? Why did I select these parents? Why did all these people come into my life? All of them are for a reason. See that all of them are happy, healthy. All of them are achieving their goals. And looking at all your relationships, you're feeling so grateful, so thankful. God for helping them, for ensuring so much harmony, love, Compassion for one another. When sun can there kuch na kuch negative patterns hote hai. Mare andar bhi hai. Sab ke andar kuch na kuch to hai. The ability to see beyond those patterns. See the intelligence operating within the person. Knowing that God is operating within every person. And looking at the person from that perspective and serving the person from that is real understanding who we are and who others are. Visualize beautiful relations. Family, very grateful to God. Thank you, dear God, for these amazing relationships, for all the wonderful people in my life. Thank you, thank you. Visualize your work. Dekhe ke aap jo socha tha apne wo sare goals achieve ho rahe. Your work is spreading to thousands and thousands of people. You're focusing on excellence. No substandard stuff. Only excellence. You're putting in all the efforts to deliver the best value to your customers, to people around you. And your customers love you, what you are doing for them. And because you're adding so much value to people's lives, the universe responds by bringing all the goodness into your life. In terms of money, in terms of joy, comfort, happiness, peace, whatever you want. All the abundance is flowing into your life. See your success in your work, achieving your targets, achieving your goals. And you're so grateful to God that every single goal of yours is getting. 
Thank you so much, God, for helping me achieve every single goal of mine. Thank you. Thank you. It gives you so much pleasure to check mark the ones which are done. Ye ho gaya, ye ho gaya, ye ho gaya. And each of your goals is serving you, serving people around you. And now the abundance which is flowing into your life is helping you to fulfill your family's dreams, your dreams. Jo bhi aapke sapne the, wo sare pure ho rahe. Visualize kari. Whatever you wanted to create in your life. Let's say a dream house. Able to create it. Because the God is, God energy is unlimited. But when you create the dream house, it is not from a selfish perspective. It is from a perspective of making a bigger difference. You have a better house, you'll be able to serve your family better. You're able to serve the community better able to live your purpose on this planet using these resources. We know that one day we have to give up all these resources. All the resources coming into your life enable you to live a better life. To live your true purpose on this planet. Serving others. Starting with yourself, your family, and the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dear God, for fulfilling all my dreams, all my family's dreams, wishes, helping me to serve others. Thank you. Thank you. And look at what you have become as a person in the process. See the qualities See the skills, see the virtues that you have developed. Visualize the kind of person you have become in the process. Maybe more kind, more compassionate, more understanding. And you are deeply grateful to God for helping you create all of this. Zameen mein seeds toh hum dalte hai, lekin usko sach mein badal lek liye, jab tak divine blessings nahi hota, tak kuch nahi hota. Grateful to all, almighty blessings of all your elders for helping you create life of your dreams. Feeling blessed, feeling grateful. Thank you, thank you. Also take a moment to pray for all those who need your help right now, who need assistance, who need help. So dear God, please help those in need. Send your unconditional love, send your healing energies to all those who need it. People who are known to me, people who are not known to me, family, friends, my relatives, people in my close circles, all the wonderful people in the 5 a.m. club, all the people on the global healing list need the healing right now. And all the people who are going through challenges at this moment, people, physical, mental, emotional, financial, social. Send your healing energies, send your unconditional love to all. This is my prayer, this is my request to you. Visualize God's healing energy and unconditional love falling on the entire planet Earth. Healing everybody, 
sending the healing energy to everybody. People getting relief almost instantly. Visualize that all the spirits are lighting up like little, little bulbs in the dark. You can see the entire planet lighting up. All the spirits rising and understanding that they are much more than what they feel here. Thank you, thank you. We'll do a download today. Request God to download these programs in every cell of the body. When I do this download for you, I am getting stronger every day. My body is healthy. My memory is excellent. My connection to the Creator grows stronger and clearer every day. Can I do this download for all of you? Thank you. Creator of all that is. It is requested that the energy of all these programs is downloaded and instilled at all cell levels and all belief levels for all the participants of this IVM club said yes. And this be done in the highest and the best. Hey, thank you. It is done. It is done. Witnessing the energy of all these programs coming from the intelligence. Falling on all of us like a beautiful Entering the body from the crown chakra, filling up all the 50 plus trillion cells in the body. And this program is now instilled at all the cell levels. Every single cell now knows how to get stronger every day, how to keep a body which is healthy, how to keep the memory fit and excellent, how to strengthen your connection with the source. Every cell of your body knows this. Every belief system now knows this. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Let us create a shield around us with an intention of keeping your field clear of any energies which are not helpful. For creating a shield. Visualize yourself and say the word shield. Then visualize a beautiful divine light around you, protecting you from any influences that cannot help you. Remind me, visualize karo ke kisi bhi insaan ke shabd ya aapko nahi kar sakte. Because all of that is bouncing back from your shield. और जब भी कोई ऐसा कुछ कोशिश करता है तो आप अपने आंखों को एक सेकंड के लिए बंद करें विजुलाइज करें कि द शील्ड इज अराउंड यू प्रोटेक्टिंग यू वो भूला नहीं है भूल गए तो असर होती है विजुलाइज दैट द शील्ड इज अराउंड यू एंड दैट शील्ड कैन प्रोटेक्ट यू फ्रॉम एनी नेगेटिव एनर्जीज फ्रॉम यू Visualize your loved ones and say the word shield. Visualize a beautiful shield around them. All your family members. Visualize your valuable things which are important for you. Visualize them and say the word shield. Remember that the shield is always there with you. The meaning of shield is nothing else but God is with you. Mesha Paramatma Satme. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's create a shield around planet Earth. Shield. Then bring yourself into the present moment, the most beautiful moment, becoming aware of your breath, becoming aware of the gentle movements of your environment, 
knowing that you are in a beautiful virtual classroom, a global classroom where people from all over the world, thousands of people have joined us right now to perform the rituals and to take their lives to the next level, becoming better human beings and bringing about a transformation on the entire planet. With that thought in your mind, bring yourself into the present moment, rub your hands. Put them on your eyes. Then when you're ready, slowly take your palms away from your eyes. Blink in your eyes and a smile on your lips. Look into the palms and make a wish for today. Thank you, thank you. Thank you to everybody. Namaste to each one. And then slowly open your eyes and take a nice little mirror. Look into your eyes and tell yourself. You truly, truly love yourself. Knowing that you are a divine expression of the source. Even if you look at your own eyes, the very fact that the eyes are able to see things outside is nothing less than infinite intelligence, my dear friends. Look into your eyes and tell yourself, love you, I really, really love you. Say it five times. Wonderful. Now, put your fist out in the air and say, yes. Today is the best day of my life. <laughs> I've never had a beautiful day than today. <laughs> Something amazing is going to happen. Krishna Krishna Javarda Sonei Wala Hai. Pata Hai Mujhe. On the way, it's coming up. Put it once again and say, yes. Okay, awesome. Wonderful. Give a nice hug to yourself. Give a pat on your back. Give a nice hug to all your family members. Good job, good job. Okay, so what's the learning for today? We'll do a quick learning for today. So I'm going to share a little video that I received on WhatsApp yesterday, which reminded me that age is just a number. अगर आप सोचने लगोगे कि आप बुढ़े हो रहे हो तो फिर बुढ़े हो जाओगे <laughs> लेकिन अगर आप सोच रहे हो कि यू आर ऑलवेज यंग यू फुल ऑफ एनर्जी यू फुल ऑफ एंथूसियाज्म देन यू विल नेवर गेट ओल्ड एज इज जेन्युइनली जस्ट अ नंबर देयर सो मेनी पीपल हु कम टू मी यू नो 30 इयर्स ओल्ड 33 इयर्स सर 30 साल का हो गया मैं सर अभी तक मेरे जीवन में ज्यादा कुछ नहीं हुआ मैं बोलता हूं मैं तो 60 का हो गया <laughs> तू अभी ऐसे बोल रहा है तो मेरा क्या होगा <laughs> तेरी तो पूरी जीवन पड़ा है तेरे आगे पर अभी से तू बोल रहा है सर मैं तो तीस साल का हो गया मैं क्या करूं कुछ हो नहीं रहा है मेरा अरे भैया पूरी जीवन आगे बढ़ी है आज ही जग जाओ और आज से शुरू करो तो आगे के साठ साल अच्छे जाएंगे वैसे भी जीवन काफी लंबा होता है तो अपने जीवन के हर क्षण को सही ढंग से जिए और इवन नो लिमिट्स माइंड वेर यू नो दैट यू बिलीव दैट एनी डे यू कैन we start changing your life so i'm going to share you a video of the oldest man on the planet lives in varanasi he is 126 years old can you believe it 126 years old. have you ever seen an 126 years old man here is one Indian, he lives in Varanasi. He is Swami Sivananda. 
is active, live, kicking, does yoga, walks, climbs steps with little or no assistance. He was recently honored with Padma Shri by the government of India. Swami Shivanand Yoga. He was recently in Hyderabad. Wow villages met him and talked to him at length. Just see what he has to say. Sir, after date of birth, what is it? 1896, 8 August. Sir, are you the oldest Indian, living Indian? Or any older people are there than you? Worldwide, book of record, as Jai Jai Jai, you are Shivanandu Baba is the oldest man in the world. Sir, what is your secret? No money, no donation, no disease, no desire, no fruit, no milk, no money, no death beating. Guruji, do you eat three times a breakfast, lunch, dinner or two times? All days should take only two times. Dinner, do chapati, that may badly. Have you met across any freedom fighter? Shushivad Basu. Netaji was... Uh, How do you age gracefully? When I was a boy of eight or nine years old, I practiced yoga. Anybody who practiced, so Bangasan and Mastasan, they can be, enjoy youthful life. Unprofitable talk, unprofitable conversation is very harmful to body and mind. In 2019, when he was in Abu Dhabi, the airport staff were stunned looking at his age from his passport. He made an attempt to affirm his age by Guinness World Records, but that could not be confirmed because that main age related document is a temple register. I am doing this video basically for one reason. My mother, who is 86 years old, keeps saying that she is aging, becoming old, becoming weak and weak. I just want to tell her that there are much older people than her who are very active and uh, how they are doing what they are doing i thought it will serve as an inspiration to her if you also have elderly parents like my mother you too please can show this video to your parents or any other such people we can drive a lot of inspiration looking at him i love the citizens of hyderabad with my heart and soul and they will practice yoga i love them with my heart and soul तो आप बताइए <laughs> जब 126 साल का इंसान योगा करते आया है तो फिर हम तो बहुत छोटे हैं इमेजिन सो देर इज नथिंग लाइक एज एज इज जस्ट नंबर इट्स नेवर टू लेट गेट स्टार्टेड टुडे डूइंग व्हाट यू लव टू डू मेक द बेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ बिकॉज़ इज एज इज एक्चुअली जस्ट अ नंबर ओके सो विद दोस वर्ड्स थैंक यू सो मच एवरीबॉडी फॉर बीइंग हियर टुडे मॉर्निंग Thank you so much. I'll just unmute everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much, sir. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, मैं तो सोचता हूँ कितना छोटा हूँ मैं उनसे आज भी उम्र का हूँ थैंक यू सो मच एवरीबॉडी विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट बाय एवरीबॉडी थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर